All right, so I decided to make my traditional task finding the domain of this function g of x equals the square root of 49 minus x squared all over x squared minus 11x plus 10. Um, I did not find something like this in the reading. This is something that the pre-calc students are doing right now in Math 25. Um, and it's something that they're struggling with. So I think that if I can maybe provide an open-ended question for them, maybe they will be able to understand it better. So we'll see how this goes. Um, the template that I decided to go with was template number two, which is creating an example or a situation. So like I give them the answer and the students then have to come up with a question that fits the parameters of the answer. So the question that I came up with was provide a rational function that has a domain of negative seven to one with negative seven included, union one to seven with seven included. Um, this question really tests, do they know a lot of the things that need to be known about domain when it comes to square roots and when you, you know, you can't divide by zero. So there are certain numbers you can't plug in for the bottom here. Um, something that I, I was trying to figure out as I was working this problem, this open-ended question is uh, they might not get the exact same answer I have here, but if there are multiple different solutions to this question, but I think ultimately it's gonna look similar to this. And if it doesn't, then that tells me that maybe they don't have a full comprehension or understanding of domain and how to find it within rational functions. So this is my open-ended question. I think it's a really good question. I think it's something that once final exam season comes around, if I can give them this question, this open-ended question, and they can answer it, then they're good to go for domain on the final. So.